EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for July 5th, 2023. Hope everybody had a fantastic and safe 4th of July holiday. Uh, we have a new sponsor today for the Wednesday video forecast. It is the KP Agency in Easton, Pennsylvania. The KP Agency is Easton's only woman-owned insurance group and is an independent brokerage specializing in Medicare insurance products. Turning 65 and enrolling in Medicare can be easily described as one of the most overwhelming and confusing processes. You're bombarded with ad mail and endless calls, and the information out there can be both misleading and unreliable. Why not use a trusted local professional to guide, to guide you through the process and at no cost, the KP agency can educate and enroll you in all your Medicare related needs. Visit them online at thekpa.net or give them a call at 908-329-7140. They are the KP agency in Easton, Pennsylvania, proud sponsors of the Wednesday video forecast. Uh, Kristen reached out to me for the video and the video sponsorship. She says, well, I have hats, but I only have pink. And she wanted to wait uh, to send me that later. But I have no problem with pink hats. Real men wear pink. Okay. So we have very proud to sponsor, uh, have her sponsor the uh, Wednesday video forecast. So and no problem with the hat. So today we're going to have hot and humid conditions. Uh, it's the summertime. This is, I know people are complaining about the humidity, but look, it's July. All right. It, this is what you got to deal with in July and August. Uh, unless you're new here, uh, this is the norm, okay? And we're going to have hot and humid conditions. Uh, I know we haven't had it. We, we got lucky this spring. We didn't really have a lot of, uh, you know, excessive humidity. But now we're dealing with it because we're in the hot and humid, humid dog days of summer in July and August. And then, uh, so get used to it. It is what it is. That's what we're going to be dealing with. As you can see above me, temperatures here today are 88 to 92. There is a stray chance of a thunderstorm uh, down here in the Delmarva region. Uh, mainly south of the Mason-Dixon line, there's an opportunity for a quick, you know, uh, quick shower or storm down there. But uh, most of us are going to be uh, mostly sunny north and then partly cloudy further south today. And uh, not a bad day other than the fact that it's going to be hot and humid. Uh, same thing here for Thursday, almost a carbon copy, except we're going to have a little bit more thunderstorm coverage coming into the region uh, on Thursday. And that's mainly going to be central PA and across the Delmarva again. Here's here's the NAM High Reds future simulated radar for today. Just to show you, these areas across Delaware, parts of South Jersey, parts of east, the eastern shore of Maryland, getting into a few of these air mass type thunderstorms. And we get into Thursday, uh, you see that spreads northward a little bit and extends from the Delmarva up through central PA. So out here, you know, anywhere from like Harrisburg up to Williamsport, State College, Sealands Grove, any of these places out here, uh, can get into a shower or thunderstorm. It will be isolated, and it'll be kind of like the coverage of what we saw, uh, probably less than what we saw yesterday, okay? So it wasn't too bad yesterday either for the 4th of July, but uh, that's it. So just those areas here we're looking at for the opportunity for an isolated thunderstorm, and these are more air mass generated, so it doesn't take much. When it's this hot and humid, it doesn't take much for these storms to ignite. You just, it are air mass storms. That's pretty much this. If any kind of weak trigger will set these off and get them going. Uh, not looking at severe weather, though, either these next two days here. Uh, we are looking at the next system coming in here on Friday. This is a cold front, but this is going to be very slow to advance toward the region. Now, the European model has us getting into our interior areas. The cold front's back here like this, right? Actually digs down like that, right? And that's a cold front. And out ahead of it and nearest to the front is going to be the best focus for scattered showers and thunderstorms. So that's going to be in our interior areas on Friday. If you know our southeastern areas across, like, Delaware, South Jersey, even Philadelphia, uh, you're probably not seeing anything, or you, if you do see something, it might be late. Uh, I don't have anything coming in here except for the long-range NAM, and it just shows just a few here. This isn't an overwhelming amount of rain here on Friday, but you know, starts off partly cloudy, then you have the late thunderstorms, especially in the interior uh, opportunities here on Friday as this moves in. This kind of runs out of range here at this point. Uh, this frontal boundary, instead of coming right through the region, it's actually going to dissipate over the region. So Saturday, it's still going to be kind of lingering here, but you just have an isolated shower or storm chance. And because that very weak trigger is there, that would be the focus or the trigger mechanism to get any shower or storm on Saturday. Uh, but it's in the, in the process of dissipating. So there's not going to be much of a trigger there. So I think Saturday is going to be an isolated thunderstorms day. Uh, this next system coming in is going to come in on uh, Sunday and bring you a renewed threat of scattered showers and thunderstorms. So, we're, so Sunday, we're calling variably cloudy right now with the at least afternoon and evening scattered showers and thunderstorms with this that will go into the overnight. Uh, European model has this moving out already and nothing on Monday. The GFS is still a little bit slower with it. 
Uh, and because of that, we're going to allow for Monday to at least have an isolated chance for a thunderstorm. But I wouldn't be surprised if Monday turns out to be nothing at all and this moves through and that's it. And then Tuesday, uh, they both agree that it's just going to be a partly cloudy day uh, on Tuesday of next week. So we're going to fine tune this a little as we get throughout the week and, and get closer to the weekend. Uh, because I realize everybody's weekends are filled with different things. Again, I have something going on this Saturday, which is very important. So I'm kind of monitoring this very well, too, you know, very closely. Uh, but again, Saturday doesn't look like it's the batter of the uh, worst of the two days. It looks like Sunday. But even there, it's going to be kind of, uh, you know, afternoon, evening, scattered showers and thunderstorms. We'll narrow this down with the timing as we get closer to the weekend. OK, uh, so just keep following with these updates every single day of the week. And I will give you the latest information as it comes in. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for July 5th, 2023. Have a great Wednesday.